Hello everybody, and welcome back to my Cracker Drac playthrough, where things are going reasonably. We are currently trying to bait the Dark Elves out over here in our invasion of Nagrond, which has been going very well, actually. I'm going to pop another Lord to start going and settling stuff in the north here before somebody else goes and does it for me. Um, but yeah. And um, we're building up new shiny armies over here. There we go. Uh, building up new armies for the inevitable war with the Dowie Tide. Now we are basically... <laughs> you need to select a tech. Uh, I can't. I'm literally done with all of my tech, which is kind of cool. There we go. Uh, Nagarond is on its knees. Um, we just need to work out what's going on after this. As I said, it's probably trying to go to the war with Fedona without annoying the Empire. But I do want to keep the Empire on side, if I can. If you see what I mean. Um, and then it's the war for the high... The war, war of the High Kings, because we are the true High King. Um... But that is a long way. That is going to take a lot of planning. And may or may not happen. Ooh. Well, that solves who I'm going to war with next. Because I wasn't planning on going to war with them. Um, but if the Empire's dragged us into that war, I will happily take more of Nagarond. And I will buy some territory back off the Empire there. Because I'm not exactly poor. But I'm going to wait until they've taken the territory first. Because they are on the front line there. So reducing them feels first feels like a good idea. Hmm. I'm a bit surprised the Empire went to war with them, if I'm honest. And I don't know. I, I need to pay attention to what, because that, well, I'm... Not in a huge war, but yeah, it's brought other people in who will inevitably end up going to a war with me as well, who are currently my allies, so... But there's one thing which they do need to improve, and I really hope they improve for free, is that the idea that if you go to a war with somebody, you join the war. Basically, everybody should be joined together, if you see what I mean, in that sort of situation. By the ancestor gods. By the damas crop. Let us begin. Ridiculous. Summon me if you dare. Hmm. By the fort, father. Rhaenyra is with us. Somni. Onward. We march. We're not too worried about this battle. It's, it's not going to be an easy one, but at the same time, I should be able to do it. They could, however, break off and hit Nova Drac quite easily while I'm there with the navy, which is a little bit of a worry. What can I do? Hmm. Oh, yes, please. Uh, gives us better recruitment, just lots of lovely buffs, ups our local recruitment capacity a bit as well. There we go. You can move back into Nova Drac. G G G G G G G G G. I know E for the exiles of the heck. Here we go. 
I want your settlements. I also want to rock our gorge. Because it's part of Nova Drac. Many secrets, including yours. There we go, that works nicely for me. I don't need that building there. Again, I can't do anything on that. Tech, 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 tech. Untick research available. Now, I probably need to remember to turn that on on my next game, otherwise I'll forget about it. Because <laughs> I think, I don't know if that, I think that might save between games, so, yeah. Oh, that's alright, go wipe yourself out on them. Oh, that's fine. That's actually perfect, because that leaves Haggrief well and truly open to me to capture. Um... So I can easily capture Hagraith and uh, then I can move an army back to Novadrak and he is stuck at sea. And then we can potentially break our, uh, uh, break our thing. Ooh! So the Cult of Pleasure Confederated, that's interesting. I'm thankfully at war with them as well, so that doesn't do too much negative for me. Again, we're going to be buying some territory off the Empire here as well, because I can afford to. There's no reason not to. Um, it feels a bit odd doing it, but I'm more than comfortable to buy some territory off them. Um... Uh, Again, something which will hopefully be much better. I'm really hoping we get all of the Three Kingdoms diplomacy in in Warhammer 3 because, yeah, it would be awesome to have all that extra level. Uh, extra diplo uh, would be really good. I think the Empire has picked a fight there, which it's going to struggle with. Which is good. I don't want the Empire to have it all their way. I want them to be my friends, don't get me wrong, but... Oh no, somebody I don't know where is has ended their non-aggression pact with me. How will I possibly cope? Who cares? For the king. To battle. My axe thirsts for war. Uh, hmm. Summon me if you dare. The axe thirsts for war. Much as I say that's not a problem, I do need to actually pull an army back. By the fort, father! And had? Aye, grudges will be. Cromson, you can fall back with the old guard. Let us begin. The old long beards here to hold here yes. to scare them off. The issue is they're potentially going to go and push me out there now. It's a bit of an annoyance, but there's only so much I can do. This road is shoddy. Hmm. There we go. We're still making 10k a turn, so I'm still flying with my income. Hmm. Now, if only I could persuade Mazamundi. Basically, I need to bring the world to war with the dwarves at some point. Uh, is how I want to do this. Yeah, I thought they were going to do that. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. They did not do what I thought they were going to do. They drove... They're at war with Tretch Craven Tail. <laughs> Screwed them over as well. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> That's really good, actually, because that means the uh, they've reduced themselves a bit in those fights. Hopefully, I don't know if the garrison the garrison won't have helped because it's being sieged, but yeah, that's really strong for us.
And then we can push down the spine of Nagarond. The issue is Nagarond is probably technically more of a Dowie threat. You know, if you look at how mountainous it is in the centre, I mean, the Vortex map is much better for them. But, you know, the Dow, you know, Nagarond is such a Dowie looking place because it's mountainous and vicious and nasty. I mean, I know the Chaos Dwarves aren't there, but if I were to look at the world map, it's where I'd actually probably pick for the Chaos Dwarves to live. Um, those are more desert dwellers in this, aren't in Warhammer, I believe. I could be wrong. I mean, they're definitely mountains as well, but they've kind of been driven into desolate deserts in the, uh, in the wastes out to the east. I forget the plane of... Over here, basically. But they definitely, uh, covet their, their brother's halls. Wow, yeah, they did, so it made it an easy auto. Oh, you Lord fools! Oh, that is beautiful. I'm going to rename that, because Haggraith is not a good name. I'm just going to rename it to the Dark Crag. The Dark Crag. There we go. Can we leave that there for now? Armed and ready. It nice. Is time. Hmm. It's a little odd. Let's push growth to start with. You can go into Ostrock. I'm going to leave that for now. While I do want another army going, I don't need it straight away. You can head up there. Let's start building up the gold mine in Grand. Ooh, that's going to be good. Ransack Tower Prophecy. <laughs> oh, wow. Growth building for now. You are ridiculously good. I'm bitten not to destroy you. So yeah, they have been pushed right down back there, so they are not really even. A major threat. I suspect these uh, black arcs will be fleeing this sea now. Fleeing the Bay of Novodrac. Because that's what it's called now. I don't care what it says on the map. It is now known as the Bay of Novodrac. Um, or the, uh, you know, or, or, or the Dragon Keep's Bay. Bay of the Dragon Keep. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go straight to Wolf Tretch to consolidate down again a bit. Uh, we're eventually going to take on the Exiles of the Heck and exile them once again. And yeah. Just going to start painting Nagarond our colour. Um, I do want to push into the north eventually, but they are hard territories to take. So, they're not good territories for me. I don't have walls and things in them. So, while I will take potentially take them long run, it is definitely a long run thing. No, I might send people up there now, just to, just to get it covered before somebody else does. Um, send single guys up there, and if they fall, they fall. Because we do have all sorts of buffs in those types of territory anyway, so while they're bad, they're not terrible for me. The issue is the lack of walls, but that's not so much the problem now in the far north. 
A um, couple of turns, I'm going to start building a third army up in my territory for the inevitable war with dwarves. Ooh, interesting. For the wisdom of Valea. Yes. One run. Time for a reckoning. Zarina empowers me to offer you warm greeting. Hmm. Follow Dowie. It is an honor. Still not allied with the Empire. Sorry, I just want to make a hundred percent sure Thranzi stays friends with us. That's right, we are. Not the other treacherous dwarves. Us. Yes. Growth, please. My anger burns bright. Oh. One rug. Rune Lord. By the Damas Cron. I, I want to drive them out. This is a bit of a risky move, but it's not that risky. But I also want to hit hit down here next. Oh, I need to buy a couple more places off these guys. Push them right back into the red desert. Next turn, we'll start buying some more stuff off them. Because these are technically mine. Perfect. That's what I wanted. They are attacking me, my lovely dwarven army. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I do like these maps. Um... It's a fairly boring, to be fair, it, it's a fairly boring setup. There's not a huge amount to do here. I'm going to noob box it a little bit, to be fair. Because I've got the sort of setup where I should. And we're just going to move into the plane and let them come at us. <coughs> <laughs> then my quarrelers will shred them. I managed to move. Oh, not quite perfectly there. So obviously certain things need to die first. They are bet not really worth us fighting. Kill the Shabliss. Oh, wrong board. Should kill that quick enough. Maybe you want to murder there. Who's doing that? Oh, it's the black art casting spells. 
But these Dowie should be able to hold the line here easily. Hit the Feral Manticore. Turn and break them, or hit the cold one knights. They are hitting us, but it's magic. We're dwarves. I don't care. And their range are doing more damage to us. Let's kill those shades. These guys are just holding it. They're heavily armoured. They've got great melee defence. Reasonable attack. While they're not armoured, you know, <laughs> basically these two units can hit each other for ages, but we win. There we go. They're going down nice and quickly. Switch unit. Let's rip those shades apart. Let's move her over and hit that unit of shades next. You guys can charge in there. You guys can start moving up right around the flank. Kind of just holding here. Ooh, that one hurt. Finally, they did a bit of damage to us. These guys are just holding, taking the fire here. No! Oh, wow, that was brutal, that, that volley. We'll be clearing them out. Oh, and the murderous prowess proc proc. That's why some of those things were a little bit more brutal than I expected. Really? You want to face off against the Quarreler Swarm? I give those cold ones about two minutes to live. About ten seconds to live, even. Yeah, finish those guys off. This is over. So we've taken some damage, but we are happily ripping them apart. My guys have got a little too clustered here, if I'm honest, which isn't helping with the damage we're doing, but... Because they can kind of get in their way a bit. And let's go for the Lords. Shred them before they even get to us. They're breaking straight away. It's gonna last about five seconds. You guys fall back. Let the quarrelers do their job. Murder that lord with ranged fire. Ah, oh, it appears to be going for the wrong one. Never mind. They'll still shred him. Goddamn Druki. Let's 
Let's speed everything up. Switch a volley over to him. Here we got in seconds. Oh, some of us are running out of ammo. Okay, it's time for a mass charge then, because we're about to run out of ammo. We go, we drove them from our seas, which is great. <sighs> so that is the current Druki threat. Now there are still other Druki threats around the world, but that was the main one for this and that, you know, which I was going up against here, and we dealt with them quite nicely, to be fair. They were not as tough as I expected, actually. So yeah. Um, then it's getting on with it. You're just going to keep pushing through. Uh, well, we're going to clean up the area. We're going to go to War Tretch. I'm not so worried about fighting Tretch because these armies are pretty much perfectly built for anti-Skaven work. Don't get me wrong, I still hate fighting Skaven, but... The issue is I probably can't chase them down, but then again, they're also no longer threats, but they can also build... Oh, and the Skaven are going to deal with them for me. And then obviously we've got the sisters to deal with, the twins to deal with down there. Because uh, we've been dragged into a war with them, but I'm not overly worried about that either. Ooh. Okay, I was already planning on going to war with Clan Rictus anyway, so that's perfect for me. So the Empire dragged me into war with somebody I was planning on going to war with already. Uh, that's fine, and I'm in a position where I can just push straight into their territory nicely and it expands where I want to be so again perfect I'm going to keep buying stuff off the people around there once I'm happy I'm going to start buying the empire territories off them as well because if I can make all of this my color you know that's lovely and we can kind of rival the old world in our position and then if I can take the donut as well once we've got all of that if I could take the donut it would be huge Really? They're beginning to not like me for some strange reason that I keep talking about killing the donut. Not that they know that. Or do they? I hope not, because that would be terrifying. <laughs> I cannot believe the Wood Elves are still alive in Athaloran, considering the amount of wars they've been, people they've got against them. Let us begin. My axe thirsts for war. It's a fairly nasty little force, actually. That's a fairly easy little cap. Um, okay. Anyway, guys, this is where we're going to be leaving it for today. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you have been enjoying. And pop a comment down below, guys. It really does help. Uh, with how videos get seen. As always, an extra special thank you to my patrons and channel members, and thank you to everybody for watching. Cheers, guys.